When we started to talk to the Guinea Alumina Corporation, we were very excited. GAC decided to build a bauxite mine that would use their railway road facility to transport the ore to the port at Kamsa. Emirates Global, one of the largest aluminium producers in the Middle East, embarked on a strategy of becoming vertically integrated. They decided that they wanted to develop an upstream mine in Guinea. They then appointed Sukjin, who was the financial advisor to the transaction, and Sukjin then started to engage a group of international players, including all the relevant IFIs, ECAs, political risk providers, and commercial lenders. Guinea would benefit tremendously. The country has the largest reserve of bauxite in the world, and it could become one of the top three global bauxite producers within the next five years. But there were also apprehensions. After years of conflict, Guinea's GNI per capita is just $850 per year, or about half the average for Sub-Saharan Africa. It also has scant infrastructure. This is a complex and challenging project in terms of environmental and social risk. There is a significant resettlement program and there's also an offset strategy to be implemented. The risk is covered all around and different parties who cover different risk, their documentation fits like a puzzle. The government had undertaken reforms to enable a stable business environment and the World Bank and the International Finance Corporation had given support to improve governance and strengthen human capital. The time was right for this project, through the strong leadership of Aisata Bievogi as the Director General at GAC. She is the first woman to lead an international company in Guinea, and she is at the center of it all. Even though I will be considered a diaspora because I studied abroad and grew up abroad, I'm coming back home and I'm trying to make a difference. The project started production in August of 2019, and by January 2020, it had shipped 1 million tons of bauxite ore. At full strength, it will produce 12 million tons per year. GAC is becoming one of the biggest contributors to the Guinea economy. At capacity, it will employ 750 people directly and create an estimated 14,500 jobs in its orbit. 40% of the goods and services it uses will come from the domestic markets, many of them provided by small and medium-sized businesses. GAC also provides job training, health centers, and schools. It also supported the creation of Moye Bafin National Park, home to 4,400 chimpanzees. If you look at the history of money industry, only 13% of man workforce are female. And to be a director of a mining industry such as GAC, it's a great achievement. But what is even better is to take a green field to a full production. Young women in general, and culturally in nations that are underdeveloped countries, do not believe or do not have enough self-esteem to know that they also can be director general in a mining company. I have a lot of respect for a woman like her. She is just an inspiration for doing what she does as a woman, as a manager, and also for pushing companies like local companies like my company owned by women. People think that mechanics is not, is not a woman job, but I will say that all jobs are for women and men. <laughs> Alongside $400 million in loans from the IFC, MIGA is providing guarantees of as much as $127 million for up to 12 years to ING Group, the key lender to GAC. The guarantees provide protection against breach of contract, transfer restrictions, expropriation, and war and civil disturbance. And beyond insurance, MIGA is providing assurance as a steady partner. The company, and with her at the forefront of this, really have taken to heart how important it is to develop the GAC project according to world-class standards. And, you know, we're incredibly grateful to Emirates Global for 
approaching the project in this way. Together with IFC, we helped in guiding their environmental and social management system to be compliant with our performance standard requirements. We continue to work with GAC in identifying where they can improve. Going forward, we will work uh, with the project, with our guarantee holders, and of course the government, to make sure that uh, the project is well supported. The partnership of Guinea Alumina, ING, and MIGA shows investors how they can develop projects in once fragile countries still emerging from conflict and instability. It also shows how they can do this in a sustainable, socially responsible way. With Bievogi at the helm, GAC and its partners are helping unlock the treasure under Guinea's feet. I'm hoping that mining is just the impulse that will be needed to develop Guinea. Even though it is a male-dominated industry, it is an industry that has room for women. To this young girl watching me today, I want to tell you that you too can do it. You too can be in a leadership position. You have to train yourself. Training is very important. You have to gain experience. You have to believe in yourself. And if you do so, I guarantee you the sky is not even the limit.